Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing a doodle crate. It's that time of month, they're all coming in the mail, and we're excited to share them with you. So if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you curriculum and organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button, and let's open this crate. So this month says it's spool knitted animals. That just sounds really cool. Explore the craft of spool knitting. I don't think I have ever heard of spool knitting before or done anything with spool knitting, so that sounds really cool. And design adorable yarn critters. So I bet they're gonna be adorable. <laughs> the picture looks adorable. <laughs> so here we go. Here's a little picture of our little knit animals. I don't even know how to knit. I love to crochet. My mom didn't know how to knit when I was when she was teaching me how to crochet. She did learn to knit for a quick second. I don't know if she knows how anymore. And she knit every single scarf in the world, like so many. And then she never knitted again. I still don't know. Maybe she knows how to knit still. Anyway, so this will be fun to try out. These look, these look really, really cute. So these are our instructions in here that are gonna tell us some different things and give us some information. And then here is our little thing that we're gonna knit with this loom. I've used looms before when I was younger and the little hat looms came out, we made so, so many of those. So this is gonna be really fun for my daughter to try. I think she's gonna really enjoy it. So that's in there. And then we have a few different colors of yarn. I'm sure you could use your own yarn. That'll be something cool about this is all you need is more yarn to make more, you know, like extra yarn. Some of these activities, you need a whole bunch of stuff to be able to replicate them. But since you already have this cool tool and it's really good quality, you could keep making more. And then we have the little needle and the, this is a needle too, <laughs> the hook and the needle, whatever they're called, to be able to pull the thread in the loom. And then this usually is to sew everything together. And then felt pieces, it looks like. This one, it might have some little cutouts. It's really hard for me to tell if they do or not, but there's a few different colors in there. Probably it looks like for their face and their feet. So that'll be cool. And then, I don't know what this is. It's like vacuum sealed almost. I think it is. It's like fuzzy. Oh, it must, be, I bet it's the stuffing. They probably just did this so that it wouldn't take up so much space. That's what I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure. So that's what's in this crate. I think these are gonna be a lot of fun. I, I think my daughter's really gonna like it and it'll be fun for her to be able to do other things with this little tool as well besides just making these animals. So I'm gonna let her get at it and we're gonna let you know how it goes. month it took a little bit longer than normal which was unique because usually the doodle crate is just a few days and that's about it but this one could still go on for a long time <laughs> so we decided to show you what she's made so far you want to hold them up so they can see <laughs> so these are her little projects okay you can tell them what about them this one's a penguin and we have a snake then a cat and then a cat so the cat and the penguin were made on this end of our little loom. And then the snake, which is a little bit skinnier, was made on this end. So that's something great about this is it has a lot of different options. And then if you wanna check how long stuff is getting or whatever, just to see where you're at, <laughs> these unscrew, which I thought was really cool. So if you're working on this end, you could just take this off and see if you're at the right length, if you needed to measure it or whatever. And then this side also unscrews. So I thought that was really cool. And this is very sturdy. So like I said, it will be fun for her to continue using it. And then my other kids could even learn how to use it. And we also have some yarn left over. 
so she could make some more projects with that. And then also it's just so easy. I feel like doing this now that we have the loom, getting more yarn is really easy and I already have some. So it has endless possibilities <laughs> of making more crafts. And then we also still had a quite a few of stickers left over. That's what these all are, felt stickers that you can put on your <laughs> little creations right here. Mm -hmm. So we have tons of those. And then we have still some stuffing left over. So like I said, she could make some more of them. And then what was your favorite part? Um, getting to decorate them. Getting to decorate them. So once you're, once it's all done, you get to decorate them. So that was fun. What do you think was the hardest part? Um, on the snake at, at the very end, um, it was. You gotta hold it up so they can see. Um, I had to start up a little short because it, it wouldn't go. Mm. So the strings got too tight on the snake at the very top, so she wanted to make it longer, but because it was too tight, she could hardly even get it off the loom as it was. Mm -hmm. So she just stopped it there. <laughs> so this was something that was really good for her to learn on. At first it was a little difficult, huh? It was a little hard to figure out how to wrap it and to hold it. I know you could unpick, you could, I don't know if unpick is the right word, every single strand as you went along if you were really having a hard time keeping all of the strands on at the same time. But she got really good at going all the way around and she'd come back and pick them off. And so I thought it went really well, right? She, <laughs> she learned pretty quickly. And there's still a lot of different ideas in here. So I think this is a mouse maybe right it's here. It's a bunny. It oh, it's a, a bunny. Carrot. It has a carrot. Sorry, I wasn't pay attention to the details. There's some birds and I thought it was cute that they put it in a little nest right there. And then, I don't know what this is. It's an otter. It's an otter. <laughs> Good thing she's here to tell me what all these creatures are. There's an otter. Their snake is super skinny and I honestly don't know how they got it unless she stuffed her snake. So maybe if you don't stuff it, maybe it would be skinny like this one. I'm not really sure. And then this cute walrus has a little hat on him. So there's still, oh, there's another one. There's still lots of different ideas in there and lots of different critters you can make or use your own imagination. What's this one? There's a llama oh, and then a mouse. A llama and a mouse. So some different things there. So there's just a lot of great ideas. So I really enjoyed this and I enjoy that this is a craft you can keep doing. It's very easy to get supplies for and that we can just have a lot of fun making different creations and also letting my other kids try it. She's gonna hold up. She wants you to see the pick and then the, the plastic needle that she used. So we had a fun time, huh? Uh -huh? And I liked how it lasted a little bit longer than just a couple days, so that was fun. It was a little bit hard to remember to keep doing it because we didn't just get it done in like a day or two. It was like, oh yes, we still have projects to work on, but it was a good thing like, oh, you could go work on your project if she needed something to do. So mm -hmm. I really liked how it lasted a little bit longer than some of the other ones. So if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye bye.